I remember when I first went to Japan, I couldn't sit like this at all. It took me about two years to be able to sit with my bottom um, on my heels easily. And the way I did it was, every time I ate a meal, I used to put a cushion in between my bottom and my heels like this, which of course reduces this angle, and just attempt to sit up straight. And in time, these muscles loosen enough to take the cushion out a little bit further. The angle closes up like this, and then eventually, a little bit further and eventually further on still, then it wasn't necessary at all. Now some people when they're sitting in this position, the major limitation is actually too much stretch in the front of the, of the insteps here. So if that's the case for you, arrange a couple of mats as I've done here and dangle your toes off the mat, which reduces this angle. And again, they can, these techniques can be used in combination too. This is extremely comfortable. But in time, you'll want to go into more advanced stretches, and so let me take you through a couple of those now. The first movement to get this leg in position here is actually to lean away from the leg like so, fold it like this, and then push the calf muscle out of the way, and then bring your hips closer in like this. If you, and I'm just exaggerating this a little bit, but can you see that this hip is higher than this one? And if that's the case for you, which it often is with a beginning student, then use the cushion like so. Underneath this hip, like this, now the hips are level, and when you lean back and do that same tail tucking movement that we practiced before, I'm exaggerating a bit, but like this, you'll find you'll be able to get a very satisfactory stretch in this position. Now just imagine combining those elements. If, for example, you're still getting too much stretch in the instep here, then you'd move yourself back on the mat, like this, dangle the toes off the mat, still put the other cushion underneath the hip here, still the calf muscles outside of the line of the leg, and watch, lean back onto your hands like this, and tuck the tail, and you'll still get a very good stretch in quadriceps. In time, and in a moment, Cherie's going to show you some more advanced versions, but for now, Stretching both legs like this will get your quadriceps quite loose and it's a very incremental approach. You can start from the least difficult and go through to this position here in a matter of months and in the process the insteps here and calf muscles and the knees themselves to some extent will have loosened considerably and you'll be able to sit like this and it won't be much effort at all. To come out of this position, whichever version you're using, always roll away from the folded leg like this and sit up straight. That just takes the strain away from the whole position. Cherie is going to show us her approach to doing this stretch. It begins the same way as the one I just showed you. Fold one leg, bring it back behind you, push the calf muscle out of the way, settle yourself, use a cushion underneath the other leg's hip if you need to, and then lean back on your hands like so. And the difference is that Cherie is going to lift her hips away from the mat like this to start thus opening up the knee angle, and then do a very strong tail tuck into that position, and then slowly lower herself down onto the floor once more, but while maintaining the tail tuck. And this time, the duration that she's taking to do this is about right. Don't rush getting into your, a strong final position. So once she's in that position, there's a number of things she can do. She can lean back onto one elbow if she likes, she can put the other foot on top of the folded leg knee like this. This allows you to do two contractions in this position. One is to lift the folded leg away from the floor, which is what she's doing now for a count of five. And the other contraction is to try and straighten the folded leg by pushing the instep of that foot into the floor. Again, for a count of five. Then when you're ready, take the top foot off as she's doing now, take a breath in, on a breath out, tuck the tail, and you can make this even stronger by holding the top leg, as she's doing now, and bringing that back to the chest. What this does is tension in gluteus maximus and hamstring of the top leg now are actually helping to tilt the, the pelvis backwards and flatten the lumbar spine. And when you're ready, and if you're loose enough, you can let yourself go back onto the floor like this. Just make sure that your back doesn't hyperextend when you do it. So to be sure, do another tail tuck, and then when you're ready, bring that knee back into the chest. And that can be done with one hand or with two hands. 